welcome back guys in this video i'll be showing you how to use xcss version 2 upscaler fsr 3.1 frame generation and latency flex in star wars jedi survivor i'll be testing the game on my steam deck that comes with linux based steam os this guide will work on any linux based pc with an amd gpu i'll be using nukem 9 mod to replace the in game tlss frame generation implementation with fsr frame generation we'll be injecting nukem 9 mod into the game via optiscaler mod We'll be using fake NV API to replace the in-game reflex implementation with latency flex which will help in cutting down the latency. We'll be testing the Steam version of the game. Installing OptiScaler mod is not enough to expose the in-game DLSS settings in this game. We need to use DXVK spoofing mechanism. I'll show you the complete process in this video. Now I'll be honest guys, personally I do not recommend playing this game on Steam Deck. Performance is really very bad. In some areas, FPS drops on to as low as 20. Not ideal for using frame generation. You can use this guide on more powerful PCs. I'll be using the latest preview 30 nightly build of OptiScaler available on OptiScaler's GitHub. We'll give its link in the description. Scroll down until you find the asset section expanded. Click on the .7z link here. Build version 0.7.7 preview 13 20250731. We'll be using Build 0.130 universal version of Nukem 9 mod available on Nexus Mods website. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on manual download under universal. Click on slow download. We'll be using version 1.3.4 of fake Mikau's fake NV API. It's available on GitHub. Just expand the asset section. Click on the dot .semz link here. The download will start. First I'll install OptiScaler mod. Just open Dolphin File Explorer, go to Downloads. Here you'll find all of the files that you just downloaded. I have transferred them to another directory. It does not matter. Open OptiScaler's archive file. Click on Extract. Click on Extract. Wait for the extraction process to complete. Open the extracted folder. There it is. Now you need to copy the highlighted files. Four of them. Copy. Need to paste them in the games install directory. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage, click on browse local files. Open SW game folder. Open binaries folder. Win64 folder. Paste everything here. Now just change the name of optiscare.dll file to d3d12.dll. Now just open optiscaler.ini file. Set dx12 upscaler to xcss as we will be using xcss upscaler. Mod comes with version 2 xcss upscaler. FG type just set it to nukems and uk eems. It's mentioned here. Scroll down until you find init flag section. There it is. Just set auto exposure to true. Click on file, click on save. Close. Now I'll be installing Nukem 9 mod. Open its archive file. Click on extract here. Extract. Open the extracted folder. Open dll underscore version folder. Copy this DLL file, DLSSG to FSR3, AMD is better. Need to paste it in the same directory where we install OptiScaler mod. SW game folder, binaries, Win64, right here. Now I'll install fake NV API. Open its archive file. Click on extract, extract. Open the extracted folder. Copy the two files present inside this directory. Paste them in the same directory where you install OptiScaler mod. SW game, binaries, Win64, right here. Now I'll show you how to use DXVK's embedded spoofing mechanism to expose the in-game DLSS settings. It's mentioned on OptiScaler's GitHub. Need to copy these lines just click on this icon here i'll provide these lines in the description of the video now go to the games directory where you install optiscaler mod 
SW game binaries win64 in this directory you need to create a text file right click create new text file name it as dxvk change its extension from .txt to .conf ok select the file right click open with text editor kwrite will work paste the lines click on save close we are ready to run the game i'll switch to steam os gaming mode for this game i'm using g proton version 10 12 as the compatibility layer connected by fly dg beta 4 pro controller to steam deck via bluetooth mode x input controller I have the LCD variant of tech, display supports up to 60Hz refresh rate. Signing into my EA account, required even for the Steam version of the game. Performance QM settings, only level set to 3. Disable Steam OS VSync by enabling. Disable frame limit and alert airing settings. Uncap the FPS. Unshow the in game settings. Set window mode to windowed full screen. Using the low preset, everything set to low. Vsync ray tracing disable DLSS 3 upscaler enabled using its balance preset NVIDIA frame generation disabled for the time being post processing effects like motion blur film and chromatic abrasion disabled I'll test the game in a very demanding area on planet Kobo we are in their scale just pause the game now you can open OptiScaler menu, press the insert keyboard key. I'll just increase the menu size by clicking on the drop down bar next to menu US scale. Set the value to 1. Much better. From this drop down bar, make sure XCSS upscale is selected. Version is shown here. Input DLSS, DXJ is spoofing on. Become nice mod disabled for the time being. Click on save and I close. Back to the game. Unfortunately, Steam Deck cannot maintain a steady 30 FPS in this game, even when using the low preset. Upscaler's preset set to balance. FPS stays within a range of 20 to 30. Not the ideal scenario for using frame generation. Latency will be a problem. Oh my god, this thing. Lunge at me. Okay, now I'll enable Nukem 9 spot. Another one. Animation quality looking very charring. Just enable NVIDIA frame generation from the in game settings. This will enable mod FSR frame generation. I'll show you the debug view for FSR frame generation. Just open OptiScaler mod menu, check this setting, enable debug view. No hard elements are visible in the bottom middle image, so the game's interface won't flicker with FSR frame generation enabled. The color palette is exactly the same for the bottom middle and bottom right images. FSR smoothing effect will work properly. Displays are working properly for all of the images. Just disable deeper view, play the game. Save INI. This way, mod settings will not get reset even after restarting the game. Okay, FPS increased to around 45, 45 to 50. Yeah, I can observe the added amount of smoothness. This is amazing. FSR frame generation smoothing effect is working properly on Steam Deck. I was not required to enable manual GPU clock speed setting. Set the speed to 1400 or 1600 MHz. But I am observing some latency as expected. No significant artifacts around Cal's character model. But when you use his lightsaber, some ghosting will be produced around it. See, when you spin the camera. A screen tearing like effect can be seen around the left and right edges of the display when we are moving the camera around. This tearing like effect becomes more noticeable when the base FPS is on the lower side. I will proceed further. Big open area right in front of me. It's an invisible wall crossing the invisible beg your pardon, crossing the invisible wall will cause some stuttering need to quickly take out these small fires 
बिक्री चाहे हाँ ये कुछ देखे माओ न्यूज में एबिलिटी तो फिफ्टी एफ पी एस जनरेशन डूरिंग कॉम्बैट नॉट बैड फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी एफ पी एस पर्सनली आई डोंट रेकमेंड प्लेइंग दिस गेम ऑन स्टीम डेट यू कैन यूज दिस गाइड ऑन एनी लिनिक्स बेस्ड पी सी विद एन ए एम डी जी पी यू टाइप एन टू दैट थिंग दिस इज द इनविजिबल वॉल आई बी क्रॉसिंग इट कीप एन ऑन द एफ पी एस काउंटर एफ पी एस ड्रॉप टू थर्टी फाइव फॉर अ सेकेंड very variable appears on steam deck but you can now smart works so that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day